Father James Martin continues to distort, mislead, and scandalize the faithful by promoting the homosexual revolution under the guise of compassion. This attack against church teaching offends God very much. That's why Catholics, and many young Catholics, are opposing Father Martin's public appearances. For example, when Father Martin went to speak at Holy Name Cathedral in Chicago on March 22, 170 Catholics gathered outside on the sidewalk to pray and proclaim their fidelity to church teaching. Those who love the church are troubled by the indifference of many Catholic leaders who allow Father Martin to promote unnatural vice and transgenderism. Today, March 24th, Father Martin was scheduled to speak here at the University of Cincinnati with a blasphemous professor of so-called queer theology. But God sent snow, so the talk was canceled. He couldn't come, but we came, and Catholics everywhere will continue to peacefully protest his scandalous talks. Father Martin was entrusted souls on the day of his ordination. He needs to take that very seriously, not only for his own eternal soul, but the souls that have been entrusted to him on the day of his ordination. Archbishop Schnur should have stopped this, whether it was on a public university, a Catholic university, but he should have came out and said, no, he should be standing here with us. He should be praying here with us. Considering the crisis we see in the church, we should reflect on the passion of our Lord in the way of the cross written by the founder of the TFP, Professor Plinio Correa de Oliveira, he exhorts us to follow the example of St. Veronica. She risked her life to console our Lord as he carried his cross. St. Veronica was filled with so much pity that she pushed the Roman guards and offered her veil to clean the face of Jesus, which was bloodied and bruised by so many offenses and sins. Our Lord rewarded Veronica's act of reparation with a miracle. He imprinted the image of his face forever on her veil. Like St. Veronica, we too must console our Lord today. We need to pray to St. Joseph to protect Holy Mother Church from the enemies within. God bless.